Hello, Randy Rain here, and I've got the Melody Train. This is a little train that goes around a track playing a xylophone. And from the looks of it, and the age of it, and Sears up here, uh, I thought, oh sure, that's got to be a Tomy product, because I have the Crazy Loco. Look at it, looks just like this. Same type of design, put out by Sears, made by Tomy. There's the Buggy Race, looks very similar in the style of the box and the art and everything, put out by Sears, made by Tomy. So I thought for sure the Melody Train has got to be a Tomy product. So I bought it. I open it up and I see the tracks and the little xylophone pieces. They're all there. I pull out this box and I see down here printed in Japan Oh yeah, this has got to be a Tomy piece. Open this box up. Pull out the train. Have a look at it. And on the bottom it says Taiyo World Toy Made in Japan. Yeah, so it's a Taiyo Melody Train, not a Tomy Melody Train. Anyway, we're going to get this one going. Let's get started. Get this thing dinging. Okay, let's see what we have here. This. That's where the battery goes. Battery contacts look fine. This was obviously glued at one point. Uh -huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so it is at an angle on purpose. Oh yeah, should be able to take care of this, make it look good as new. Yep, because this one's cracked. Yep, that little eight tooth is cracked. And this one is cracking. And I'm sure this is cracked, yep. Yeah, that gear is gone. You know, I might have every one of these gears. Well, this... The motor spun a few times. Put five volts to this thing, make it home, really get it going. All right, there's a good motor. Of course, it had an eight tooth on there. And for this one, it's an eight tooth. All these eight tooths are always cracked. Now I have this one. It's a little bit different. It's the same gear. Just mine's a lot smaller, but it fits on here. And I have an eight tooth that goes here. Okay, that will work. I'm not sure why there's a spring on this one, but it went like that. Then you had this disgusting thing in there. The end pieces aren't cracked, but they sure are ugly. 
this here that I pulled off of it is most definitely cracked. Okay, now I have that gear, except the hub is a little different, different size. So I'm gonna have to drill it out. I guess the red thing is just to hold it from, keep it from moving. So I have those end gears, but again, it's not the right shaft. Okay, battery is in. Let's see what happens. Okay, I gave this a little wipe down. That needs to go down some. There we go. Now yeah, we're not missing. Now for this train, it honestly looks like they put glue on the wrong spot. They should put it here and here. They put it on those two dots and down here. And that part here that has glue on it, there's nothing sticking to that. So there's rubber bands that need to be in these things to keep them afloat. I can see there's a little pin here broken on this one. <laughs> oh, don't do that. That's not how you get them out. I don't see any other way of getting these on there without these coming off. I can't believe they didn't make this so you can't replace these stupid rubber bands. That's dumb. You gotta get all these tabs? Oh, well, that's just crazy. Well, I would not want to come out that way. You're just going to break it. Sure, they can't be yet. What it's supposed to be doing. I 
I guess. I don't know how you're supposed to get these out of there without breaking them. All right, so I figured out the way to get these apart. Step one, separate these pegs. And it really hurts your thumb. So you got to separate these apart, push up from here. Like that. Then get a hook. And pull that apart. I found these blue rubber bands that are the perfect size. And then to put them back, put your thumb and finger here, put this in, hold it here, push down until it goes in over here, let up, and there you have it. You hurt your thumbs, pushing, and push up. Grab the hook, pull, put on another rubber band, Put in the short end, hold it, bend it down, put in the long end, let go. So, little thing can you move. That goes in. Hurt your thumbs. God, that one hurts. That one's stiff. That one hurts. Let's try it. Fingers kind of over. Ouch. That one is strong. I actually like it when they break. We'll get that up. There. Hurt your thumbs, push up, pull with hook. New rubber band. Small end, hold center, bend down. This is how many I did. You know, I've never done it on video, but I think I'm going to give it a little box repair. Got a torn corner, and this is torn. So I'm just going to pull this right off here. Just regular old Elmer's glue.
So there it is, the Melody Train by Tayo, not Tomi. But it is pretty neat, and I've been playing with these 12 tunes that they give you here. I'll let you figure out which ones I'm playing. So, let's check it out. So I tried to figure out some other tunes like Smoke on the Water, but I transposed it into the C scale and they didn't give me enough Ds. Then I transposed Iron Man into C and there's definitely not enough keys for that. So it's not Tomy and it's not anything that I collect and this really should go to a small child that is growing up today who can see some toys like this that actually work and be able to play with them. So if you have a child or a grandchild, you can own this because it's on eBay right now. So if you go check out the links below, go throw down a bid and you can have a Melody Train from Tayo, probably somewhere late 70s, early 80s, I would guess. Anyway, if you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. These are the people bringing you the Melody Train that was sold by Sears, that was made by Tayo, not Tomy, even though it looks exactly like a Tomy product. Anyway, if you want to become a patron, there's links and all that stuff. I just thank you for watching. So. Melody Train.